Welcome back and today I'm going to introduce you guys to an awesome plugin called SmartSlider 3. You can use this with any WordPress website, not just Divi. But with Divi it's pretty easy to use since as soon as you install the SmartSlider 3 plugin you can just notice a new plugin, oh sorry, a new module pops up in your library and you can use SmartSlider 3 pretty easily with Divi. Uh, you can use it in any section and uh, you'll see new modules for your standard section as well. So uh, I'm going to show you some of these sample uh, sliders that come with this uh, plugin and this is a pretty cool transition effect. Uh, this is another one. Uh, this one's a bit simple. And this one's pretty cool. Uh, this one is set up so that the background slides but the text stays static which is pretty cool and new. And I can also show you Divi users how to create another slider where the text is static and oh sorry the background is static and the text slides. So before I do that though I'm going to show you how it works and uh, what the backend is like. Uh, this is the dashboard. You can create a new slider using this option. The template library contains five free templates that you can use. I have been, uh, I actually showed you this one, this one, and this one. And uh, I'm gonna just edit this one right now to show you the options in the slider. This is the short code you can use. Uh, if you're not uh, using Divi, uh, this is the short code you need to copy paste into your page or post to get your slider to pop up. And uh, there's also a PHP code provided for your convenience. You can use two types of arrows. Um, you can also choose to have bullets, but I think it's redundant to have arrows and bullets both in the slider, so I'm just gonna get rid of the bullets. Uh, the autoplay is also an option you can choose to have. Um, you can either choose for the visitor to click play before the slider starts playing or just have it autoplay on its own. It's set to autoplay um, right now. In the general options you can choose if you want to have the mouse drag on or not, uh, if the touch is enabled or disabled and uh, some other options that you can mess around with. You can also choose the animation option. Uh, there are six possible transition effects that you can choose from. The size option lets you choose the height uh, and the width of the slider. Right now I think this one uh, is this one, I'm sorry. This one is a bit too big so I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Uh, actually a a lot smaller so I'll save that right now and uh, I'm gonna leave the rest of these things the way they are you can choose to have the autoplay enabled or disabled I want it enabled and you can choose the amount of time it takes to slide one image or uh, one slide uh, at a time 8000 is pretty high so I'm just gonna go for 3500 All right, save it all right and um, now we're gonna go into oh you can choose to optimize your images too which is another option this slider has and it's pretty cool to have this option I've never seen this in other sliders yet um, anyway I'm gonna get on to editing the slides and I'm gonna show you how cool this slider editor is. You can see that you can actually drag and drop uh, elements in the slider and it, it gives you these uh, nice grids that show you if things are centered or not and stuff like that. You can also choose to see different views uh, for devices if you if you are designing for different devices you can do that as well using the slider which is one of the most uh, impressive op options I found uh, I haven't seen that in other sliders either 
so you can see different views uh, and also have uh, elements uh, appear and disappear on different uh, devices if you want to for example I think uh, maybe this text is too small on this uh, and it, it won't be visible on the mobile version anyway so if I want I can uh, just choose for it to not show up by going into the settings and uh, choosing the uh, option to not show it right here on the mobile device so if I unclick the mobile option it's just gonna make it disappear on the mobile device and if you drag and drop the text or any element while you're in the mobile design section it won't affect any of these other sections at all which is also pretty cool so I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of these uh, options over here you can include a heading layer if you want and you can drag and drop it wherever you like the other thing that I love about this slider is that there are not limitations of having your text in the center only or on the left only and you're you're like you have the freedom to design as you see fit which is something I think a lot of users will find more comforting and I do too so there's also the text layer in here and uh, the image layer and the button layer so you can see things are pretty easy to use in here all right I'm just going to delete these extra elements for now these changes that I did so the slider is a bit smaller and easier to see um, and you can see the content below it too um, if you have any right now this is just an example website so um, I also said I would show you guys how to have uh, a static background with the text sliding for DV users and I'm gonna show you that right now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this same slider um, and I'm just gonna delete the third option because I, mean, I don't need, really need it for this example and what you need to do is you go into the slider and you remove this background right here just remove it and go back to the slider and do the same thing for the other one Go ahead and remove the background. Now save the slider and uh, go to your page and make sure you have this slider selected. I saved it and you can choose a background image on your full width section and uh, choose any image. Um, I downloaded this image of a sunset from Pixabay. Uh, you can choose any image you like and uh, save it, update it, and refresh the page. And you'll see that oh, something's wrong. Oh, maybe it didn't save the slider properly. Sorry. Hold on. So yeah, I guess I didn't save it after I removed this background, so it didn't do it right. It should work now. So there you go. You have a static background and a text layer right there, which is also pretty cool. I hope you guys uh, like this video and uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.